Hi, this is Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com. Hey, this is a wonderful piano from the golden era of piano building before the Great Depression when there were hundreds of companies producing pianos in the United States. Better than that, it has just been masterfully rebuilt. New pin blocks, strings, tuning pins, damper felt, refinished case, regilded harp. I could go on and on, but the piano is magnificent. Uh, it also has new key bushings for a nice feel and front rail bushings. It's a glorious instrument from 1926, and the piano is a Model C. What's a Model C? The Model C is virtually identical to the Model L, except with more of a designer plate and some other furniture enhancements like the fallboard, the two-piece fallboard, and things like that. But the scale design is essentially the same as the modern L, which Baldwin produced all the way into the 2000s. I've got just two selections, but they show a tremendous range for you. I'm going to start off and play the complete first movement of Debussy's Children's Corner Suite, Dr. Gratis and Parnassa. And then I'll tell you what that's about when I finish playing it, because it's such a strange name. And, uh, but it's a wonderful, beautiful, impressionist piece that explores many different tonal colors for you. So that's Debussy. So what, what is Dr. Gratis at Parnassum? First, let me tell you briefly, the Children's Corner Suite has all different movements that are part of Debussy's childhood. Uh, you know, it's not a children's piece, as you can hear from the first movement. Gratis at Parnassum is actually a collection of exercises by Muzio Clementi that students had to endure. And it was like medicine for the piano. Uh, I take it that Debussy didn't like practicing his gratis and parnassum, so he made this, and it, it almost sounds like an exercise at the beginning, the notes, but of course he turns it into a glorious piece of music. I thought you'd enjoy that little piece of music history trivia. Moving on, I'm going to now play to show, you know, what I like to test a piano with, especially a vintage instrument, is the sustain of the tone, the singing quality, and the treble, which this piano has in spades, as you'll hear on the B-flat minor nocturne of Chopin, a piece I love to use for this purpose. Also, it's a beautiful piece of music. Just a very, the first section, and then I switch to the end, so it doesn't take too much time to get this exploration of the sound. 
Incidentally, when this piano was rebuilt, unlike so many pianos from so long ago, the soundboard was in impeccable condition. In fact, the piano sounded good, just the strings were kind of old and tired, the finish and things of that nature. It also didn't have much play, so there's a lot of original action parts that with top-notch regulation, there's plenty of good felt and a great sound. And as I mentioned, the feel is wonderfully precise because of the new bushings, front rail bushings. So listen to this Chopin B-flat minor nocturne and listen to the sound and see if it resonates with you. Such a gorgeous piece of music. Of course, the middle section is also classic that uh, for another time. Once again, this is Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store.